I mean, they'll have all the samples ready, aside from the bacon. Mentally prepare ourselves for if we don't think it's perfect. Do we have a plan if that happens? Growing up, my uncle did business in China, and he made an offer to myself, my brother, my cousins. If you guys learn Chinese, I'll take you on my business trips. I've always been a huge fan of Asian cuisine. I immediately started taking Chinese lessons. Took us on one of those trips. It was like a six week, literally go everywhere in China, from Shanghai to Chengdu, Hong Kong, Shenzhen. Completely fell in love with the culture, with the food specifically. Personally, I absolutely love wet markets. It's a place you can go and they legitimately have every single possible thing, from fresh ingredients to dry ingredients to live ingredients. Oh. You see the ginger, <laughs> but you also see like the fish swimming around. You know, you see the garlic here, you see the eggplant, it's just everywhere. And there's multiple stands and it's everybody's negotiating. And you're just in it. Like you are in the food scene in a very intimate way. Where there's literally somebody like, hey, do you want that ginger? Hey, that's that, like, what is that? It's like, oh, that's that, oh, okay, interesting. And you're like, what should I use this with? Like, oh, you can stir fry it with beef. Oh, if you, if you can stir fry this with beef, how would it taste in a jerky product? A lot of people don't know this, but it is because of beef jerky. It was like the original passion. And it was the spark that got me into essentially becoming a meat guy. So fall of 2014 is the first time that I like actually started living there. At that point, my life was completely opposite of what it is now. Hi guys, this is Max from OMG Capital. Uh, right now we're in the middle of tax season. So while I was still in school, my brother and I started working in the financial industry. And at that time, uh, my best friend Kyle, he also moved to China and he worked with us as well. I have an older brother who's always been the guiding force. I was basically him, I was just a mirror image of him. It's not a negative. However, I was at a point where it's like, when are you gonna do something for yourself? I was certainly not the meat guy, I was barely cooking. But then one day I'm sitting in my Chinese class, the idea of beef jerky just popped into my head. So I was like, huh, could be an interesting product to potentially release to the Chinese market. But I knew nothing about jerky. This is the less cooked orange one, it has an inch of it. But it was something unique that my parents didn't do, my brother didn't do, I wasn't influenced by anybody to go in this direction. I essentially just latched onto it. The first two years was really just learning how to make jerky. I would video chat my brothers all the time. I would call Max and he's like, yeah, I got, I got beef jerky on, I gotta stay up until 4 a.m. because the, the cook time or whatever it was, it wouldn't be done until then and I'm like, when are you gonna sleep, dude? Like, what the heck? There was one point where I was like pouring boiling water into my oven to produce steam. So it was a very much a learning <laughs> process. Max, literally every week, he'd be buying a brand new piece of kitchen equipment. Every single night, he'd be cooking something ridiculous. He was gonna make something like a brisket. He'd study it for days on end before making it because he's a perfectionist and he also will put in ridiculous amounts of time to get something correct. We've realistically made, I guess, over a thousand different variations of jerky. Fresh ingredients, dry ingredients, sauces, brines, sugar, no sugar, brown sugar, rock sugar, honey, maple syrup. There is legitimately endless combinations. And that's why as somebody who had no formal cooking training, knew nothing about jerky, knew nothing about meat, it was very much, in order to get to where I'm at now, I needed to try all these different things. You know, he's trying to find something that he really loves and having fun with it. We bought our bags, bought our logo, bought our stickers, filled the bags with jerky. We're, you know, a month away from launching this thing. Unfortunately, we get news that my mom got sick. The aircraft door has been closed. All carry-on luggage must be stowed all overhead. We go back home to be with her. It was supposed to be a three-week round-trip ticket. By the time I was ready to go back to China, 
they had closed the borders to Americans. Tonight, more countries joining the United States in a temporary ban on foreigners who travel to China. That was three years ago, and I have never been back. My apartment, my furniture, my suits, my clothing, my whole life is still there. It's actually frozen in time. Ultimately, what it meant was that the jerky dream in China was gone. Big rib calzone. You may have heard of the beef Wellington. I got this beautiful red snapper and we're here at McDonald's. So we started making the videos. Uh, my sister Sophia quit her job to help me film. Slowly but surely, like that little itch in the back of my head, it's like, huh, you're Max the Mika. You can probably launch a jerky product. They were smoking a large amount of bass. Kyle ended up moving back home to go to business school, and so we were all back together. <laughs> Me, Kyle, Sophia, we decided let's just restart the journey. Let's try to make it happen in America. We also got connected with Stony Point. They've helped us with branding, pricing, full production, and they also have the most incredible gun collection. But we've been going back monthly, sometimes even more, to really take the recipes I've created that you know, as of now have just been small batch in my home kitchen and get them ready for full scale production in the factory. And the craziest part to me is that over this entire Max the Meat Guy journey, I haven't been able to share that jerky is actually the spark of it all. In theory, we are five days away from bag in hand. You're gonna be able to tear a bag that says the name, open it and take a piece of your jerky out. That's freaking sweet. It's been uh, probably eight years since I've dreamed of that moment. That singular moment when it's finally there. Yeah, so today is the first day. Personally, I just want to get comfortable with like the situation. I want to, you know, we're going to start by just understanding what their plan is because we have a general idea, but we're not totally sure. I know I'm a little anxious to be honest. Like, I was like really excited yesterday at the prospect of doing this, and now I'm like, we actually have to do this right now. This is kind of real. Yeah, sort of a long week here, but you know, obviously a lot of our flavors are pretty specific. You know, we have beans to deal with, we have the chili crisp. There's, you know, a lot of just- A lot of unique ingredients. Yeah, and the process is slightly, you know, more complex. Mm -hmm. um, so really what we're hoping to do is just kind of be here all throughout the process from A to Z. Um, obviously understand that you guys are the true jerky masters, but just be there for it and, you know, get some processes down that we can replicate in the future. Um, so that when we're not here, you know, it's just run smoothly. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll start off, you know, by running our first, you know, scaled up batches just to make sure everything from the sample size going forward scales up good and correctly. But there's a lot of steps that go into this. <laughs> um, you know, making it in the home kitchen is obviously very different when you're doing, you know, here's a one pound batch that I'm doing in my at home dehydrator. You know, it's kind of like, you know, just playing like rec league ball and then really kind of like stepping up to the majors. We've never even packaged a single bag of jerky yet. So just <laughs> that alone is going to be cool to see. touching the tip of the iceberg, so there's so much more to go. We're doing 700 pounds, 6% of that is 40 pounds. Oh, 1,400 pounds. 70 pounds of beans. I can't believe it's a regular size food processor. What? He's like two pounds at a time. You have 250 pounds. That thing's gonna be put in work today. Oh, yeah. 
So as we were developing these recipes very early on, we wanted to have something that made our product completely unique. We experimented with many, many different things. Um, what we have eventually landed on are these fermented black beans. It's a random ingredient. They don't know where to get it from, which is fair. So we are gonna supply it. We have to buy these beans. We have to grind every single one up into a little powder and then put that in our, in our jerky. No other company would ever do that. And we can do that because we're small, we're nimble, and we also wanna have a better product. You don't want too salty, you don't want it too sweet. You just want a balanced flavor profile. It is like the most intense umami flavor that you'll ever find. Dude, that, that, that looks, so honestly, I think we did too much because it's clumping. I think we need to run this again, Kyle, just to be safe. Like, if there's a whole bean in a bag, that would be devastating. These are the ones that we, these are the final ones we ran. Trish and Ryan, okay, yep. awesome. Dude, there's like, there's like chunks, man. There's still, dude, we still got a bunch of beans here. Hi, I had a question. If you had an industrial sized food processor, Thank you. The largest receiving link is a Blitzer 8. Um, that's an 8 liter capacity, which quart size would be pretty uh, Eight and a half quarts. Okay. Yeah, and what was the price on that one that you just mentioned? The Blitzer 8 is $7,705. Okay, great. And uh, sorry, just to confirm, it, the the model that you have in stock, it's FP. What's what's the ID number? It's W F like Frank, P like Paul, one six F like Sam. One six S. All right, great. Thank you. I might uh I might call back and put that on hold. Sounds good. All right, thank you a lot. <laughs> Eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll consider that one. <laughs> I guess we're not getting that out. <laughs> so this is the first round of the beans going through the meat grinder. And it's, it literally looks like ground meat, which is hilarious, but how long did that take to do? Say about two, three minutes. Yeah. As opposed to 15, 20 minutes for, you know, just like a half a pound to one pound of beans. Cut down our time drastically. Yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Oh, wow. Bean spaghetti. Bean spaghetti. Look at that. This is hilarious. Look at yeah, this stuff. That's crazy. Dude, throw a little pasta sauce on this. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Our problem now is not being able to rip the bag up. Well, it's made from before. That's a good problem to have. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've we like 10, 10 to 20 extra ounces on this. Oh, at least. So a lot of jerky companies will have the ingredients. It's garlic powder, soy sauce, this and this. They're not using interesting ingredients. We are li literally straining chili crisp. So it's a more intensive process, but it comes through in the flavor. How's it going, man? So far, so good. I mean, we're getting, we've dumped this bucket out probably like five times to get to this, but so I don't know. It's a significant amount in difference from the oil that we're able to pull out with this as opposed to how we had tried it before. Oh yeah, this just allows us to go way faster too. But I think, I mean, this is, I'm not gonna say it's dry, but it's pretty much just the texture component of the chili crisp, which is all we really need. So that'll give us at least tomorrow's batches, right? Correct. Because I'm done with the chili crisp. <laughs> we're working on this for a while. We're finally at that point where we're working with the big numbers. It's pretty cool to see. It's actually happening now, but for the majority of the nine years that I've thought about it, I don't think I ever actually thought it would happen. And I think that's partially why it never happened in China. Like it shouldn't take, a, it shouldn't take three years to launch something, five years. But I was always overanalyzing everything. I always had an issue with it. The reality is I was probably too self-conscious to actually put something out there. I never thought I could make a video that somebody enjoys watching. I never thought I could cook something somebody enjoys eating. 
I've been watching your videos forever. Oh, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. I've always sort of been pretty introverted. Like I have, it's kind of ironic because I make videos that are a lot of people watch, but I have zero interest in people judging me. So are you mostly like the night, the later shift? Yeah, I worked uh, three to seven most days. Okay, like after school or something? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Cool, yeah, let's do a photo. Cool. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, of course, good to meet you, Logan. Nobody ever thinks they can do something cool. At least I never thought I necessarily could. You build those things over time, but you have to start somewhere. We're pressing start on the very first batch. It just incrementally built confidence, slowly but surely. Wow, freaking awesome. My brother, is he confidently moved through life, whereas I think I always kind of overanalyzed things and waited for the right opportunity. Because in China, we tried this same thing, but I found reasons to slow it down. You know, I love cooking, but like, am I actually good at it? Can I actually turn it into a career? I have no idea. Main priority for the morning, I mean, they'll have all the samples ready, aside from the bacon. We need to sit down, taste them all. Mentally prepare ourselves for if we don't think it's perfect. I, I want to like set something in my head where it's like, okay, it's good. And not be too over analytical about it. But if it is actually bad and we have to redo it, like that is certainly a possibility. Where one out of three at least is like, just not up to the standard. Do we have a plan if that happens? Very good to see you. Good to see you. How'd it go yesterday? Good. It's good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Hopefully, it's good. <laughs> awesome. I should have way more time today. I'm going to do up a few things. I'm going to get you guys to uh, form in the sheets as well. I got um, the contractor read right up on that part. Everything looks great. Oh, cool. The lawyer was very good with everything and the responses. So nice. That was perfect the whole way. Awesome. So it should be good the whole way. Awesome. Right. Perfect. Get Sounds good, man. Sweet, man. Yeah. All right. Rock yeah. Today. Take care of them. This is sick. They're finally here. Yeah. Wow. This looks sick. Look at that logo. Look at that texture. So that's the easy part. Yeah. That's the easy part? Yeah, that's the easy part. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> These are sick, man. Yeah. I give you buffalo chicken. Wow. Tastes like buffalo. Tastes exactly tastes like buffalo exactly chicken. Tastes exactly like how we wanted it. Yeah. All right, so we ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. What do we got here? Good old barbecue. Nice. Oh, it looks great. Wow. For our cooking programs and everything. Mm -hmm. With it being a bigger batch, it's significantly different, so we might have to hone in some of our actual You'd trying want a long time, time, I guess. Correct. Right. Wow. Damn. That's a lot. It has that nice shine. Like, it looks perfect. And that's just one of the three tubs. Good looking bags, better looking jerky on the inside. Just checking all the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's really good. It's good. And I think it's how it was before. Yeah, I think so too. Sweet. You guys ready? We'll get in there and get cracking. When I, I remember when I saw it coming off the printing press. Like, Shit, they're really big. Yeah, they I felt really wide. They're... They seemed really big. These are perfect. Yeah. So sick, dude. I don't think they could. I don't know anything better on them doesn't have that really dry, like a lot of chicken jerk is just super dry. This dude's like clearly moist. So now that the sample batches are looking good, we like everything, how it looks in the bag, we ready to get started on the cool production runs? Let's do it. <laughs> we 
freaking did it. We have a long time for the end. How sick does it feel to I'm so honestly good. blown away. Like, it's perfect. It's an opportunity for people to feel like they know me better. I think it'll be very cool to kind of reach out from the screen and be like, maybe you've never looked me in the eyes and shook my hand, but like at least now you can see something that I've worked on and crafted. You can taste the flavors that I've done my best to come up with that hopefully you'll really love. Yo. What's up? Oh, baby. God. Dude. Oh. How crazy is that? You did it. You freaking did it. Crazy, right? Congratulations. Thank you. It's so great. All right. Hey, guys. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. I wish he was here, honestly. Like, he deserves to be here with us. Because without, without him, we wouldn't be where we are. I feel like I owe everything to a lot of people, like millions of people. For me, I was like on this path my whole life, doing things that other people said were, was right. But I finally veered off and it actually worked. I like have this confidence where I, if I can make that work, I can, I genuinely believe if I put my mind to it, I can do it. When people watch my videos, it doesn't come across too much because it's impossible to because I'm cooking. But every once in a while, I'll try to throw in stories about my own personal life. And people reach out to me and say, wow, like you made something for yourself doing something you love. And the thought of being able to inspire somebody to do that is, is incredible, it's the best thing in the world. But I hope when they hold it, they can feel what I've been trying to put into it. This feels like me. This feels like a, like a complete representation of my the past 10 years of my life. And I hope people receive it that way and enjoy it.